everybody, welcome back. It's the third video in the UI tutorial series here. Uh, the last couple videos, we got our UI for our health component working, and now we uh, have health and we can take damage and receive health. Um, but of course, we don't have any items in the game to actually do anything in regards to that, so we're actually going to do that now. We're going to start uh, by getting all of our data together so that we can get our items in our game. Alright, so uh, we're going to learn about data tables, structs, enumerations, and arrays uh, in this... Uh, this will be a three-parter here for uh, getting our actual inventory to work. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do here is we're going to open up our content drawer. And we're going to open our... Sorry, we're going to make a new folder called data. Inside data, we're going to right-click and we're going to make two structs. And then we'll make a data table. So we're going to go to Blueprint structure what a structure is is um it is a thing that can hold multiple variables essentially so we can transfer multiple forms of data in one singular node string okay so we're going to make one called item slot okay we're going to open that up and in here we are going to set two variables one of them is going to be called item id it's going to define what our item name is and it's going to drive our entire inventory system okay i'm going to add another variable this one's going to be called quantity because we want to transfer obviously how much of each item we're going to be doing and dealing with so that is all for this one so we're going to hit save we're going to open our content drawer make a second slot struct or pardon me a second struct and we're going to call this one item data we'll open that up this one's gonna have a bunch of variables but before we start on this we're gonna make a couple of other things because we need to add them as variables in here so we will open our content drawer go to content another new folder and we'll call this items okay we're gonna make a new blueprint class and it's gonna be a type actor and we're gonna call this BP underscore item parent okay we're gonna hit s we're gonna save all Yep. Make another thing inside our data folder called an enumeration. So we're going to right click, go to blueprint and go to enumeration. An enumeration is a list of items. So we'll just do E underscore item type. So with this enumeration, we can run different events based on what items we have here. So good example is in my fps game i have an uh, an ammo type so we have small medium large shotgun and rocket so there's five different ammo types so if i pick up ammo now i can run events based on what ammo type i'm picking up so in this case we're going to add first enumeration we're going to do the item type so that's going to be potion key and material Okay, material, we're not doing anything in this tutorial. It's just to kind of fill it out a bit, but uh, we do have some materials in our items so we can, uh, you guys can add on to those afterwards. Okay, so that is all for item type. We're going to X out of that. All right, so here are the variables we're going to add to this guy here. It's going to be name. So we want the name of our item. This is going to drive things like the pickup prompt. So it'll say pick up X item, drop X item, Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Next one is going to be description. This is going to be for our item info area. So we're going to have, um, I'll just put it up on screen. Uh, all the, most of the stuff we're adding is going to reference uh, that specific display area. So a description, but you know, item type, item, clue, all that kind of stuff. Okay. The description will be a text. Sorry. The uh, name will also be a text as well. Sorry about that. We're gonna add a variable again. This is gonna be the thumbnail. This is going to be driving everything that references a thumbnail. So like the image on our banners, the image on our inventory page, the image on the description area. So all that kind of stuff. That'll be a texture 2D. Texture 2D object reference. We're gonna add another one. This one's gonna be called stack size. This is going to run in our inventory to, to determine how many items we can put in one slot. So we'll make that an integer. We're going to add another variable called item class. When we drop items, we're going to want to be able to spawn the uh, that particular item in the world. So we just need a class reference in order to set 
which item we need to spawn in. So we need to make this a our item parent that we just made earlier. Make that a class reference. Item type. This is going to be that enumeration we just made. So E underscore slot, or sorry, item type. This will be, make us being able to say what type of item it is. So we can run the specific events later on. Uh, we're going to add another one called health amount. Because uh, a fair bit of our items are going to give health. So we're going to just make that a variable in here. And one more called item category. And this is going to be inside our description, just letting us know what type of item it is. A potion, a material, a key, etc. Item category. That is going to be a name, uh, pardon me, a text as well. We're going to hit save. That'll be all for that. Uh, however, now we need to make what's called a data table. We're going to go into miscellaneous data table, and it's going to ask us for a struct. And we're going to pick one of the ones we just made, which is item data. And we're going to hit OK. So a data table is a great way. We'll call it item data table. Uh, it's a great way to transfer a bunch of data about a, a bunch of different things really quickly and easily throughout your project. And it, it uh, you can reference it in pretty much every single blueprint, but you need to be able to make sure that you can plug in your item ID to actually get this table to work. Okay, so we're going to hit add. And we are first going to name this row Apple. Before we continue, we're going to make some children for our items, uh, just so we can uh, do all this now and we don't have to come back to it. So from our item parent, we're going to right click, create a child, the blueprint class. We're going to create the following Apple. Wood. Stone. Brick. Potion. Key. Meat. And I believe that's it. Seven of them, yeah. So seven things. Uh, so those are the items that we are going to have in this project. And obviously well, let's save them all. Sheaf. We'll obviously edit all these in another video, but I just we just want to create them so that we can reference them in our data table. So we're going to take our apple now, click on it. We're going to come down here and we're going to fill all this out. So we're going to go name apple. Description will be a simple, sweet, and reliable source of food. Heals 50 HP. Something like that. The thumbnail, we're going to come into our free asset time. So we're going to open our content browser. And we're going to go to items and we're going to right click and do new folder and call it um, thumbnails. Opening up our, your free assets, it'll be the seven images of uh, the items we just made. Okay. Uh, okay. Anyways, we're going to select all these. We're going to right click. We are going to go to asset actions, edit selection and property matrix. We did this a couple of videos ago or last video for our um, health bar. So we're going to do it now for all this stuff. So you'll see that the compression settings for this is set to default, but we want these to be set to UI or uh, user interface. Pardon me. So compression, we're going to go to compression quality. No, this one here. It's one of the ones from form texture. This one here. Sorry. Compression settings, user interface 2D. Okay, and we're gonna check texture group. It's all set to world, but we want that to be UI as well. So we're gonna to go to texture group, UI. And we're gonna save all those and close it. Now we can actually set it inside our apple. There's our apple. Our stack size for the apple, I'm gonna do like meh, 10. Item class, we will select BP apple. Potion. It's not a potion, it's a, oh, it's food. You know what, let's uh, let's just quickly add that enumeration in. Where are our data, item type, add another one, we'll call it food. Food, food, save that. 
get out of there, and now we can make it food. Health amount we did, we decided it was going to be 50. Item category, food. All right. Okay, so that is all, all we need to do for Apple, but we need to do the other six items. So I'm going to let you guys do that on your own. And when you guys are all done, you will join me in the next video where we're actually going to start our next uh, part of the project, which is building our inventory from scratch. It's going to be all the logic-based stuff. It's all the fun stuff. I love it. So I'll let you guys get to it. Be sure to like and subscribe this video and comment down below if you guys had any issues. And if you guys have any feedback, always love some feedback. And definitely check out the uh, coffee page for some additional assets for only five bucks a month and the rest of this course. All right, thanks. So I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.